Students often ask me, what are the best books to get to study for the SAT? As an SAT instructor, I can tell you that the best book is the one that you will use. Here's a good one for improving your vocabulary, because what happens is you write down your definition of the word, then turn the page and read the definition. This, bit, this very thick book has lots of practice tests. You should go through and do all of the math except for the last two in each section. The last two are if you're aiming for the 700 or above. If you're not, they're often very confusing and you should skip them as much as possible. If you have time, you might be able to try them. The type of SAT book is not important. What seems important is what's inside. You should look for one that has at least four complete tests and then go ahead and do all of those problems. You'll get a smattering of, of problems so that you can decide what areas you need to check up about. Number2.com is a good place for additional um, problem work. If you don't want to pay the price to buy a um, SAT book, many libraries lend this workbook. It's also freevocabulary.com. I highly recommend freevocabulary.com because it has free vocabulary. 5,000 words, just go for it. Print a page at least every two days, and then you'll be able to go through all of those words within a hundred days. SATvideos.com. That's my website. I've got more tips there. If you go to my SAT prep and math channel on YouTube, Mr. Math, you'll find additional videos. Remember, 50 words a day is a great way to introduce your mind to more and more and more new words. Write to me with any questions you have, visualandactive at gmail.com. 954-646-8246. I'm available for tutoring. Thank you.